Today we're in Little India and we've just passed the Festival of Lights, Deepavali. And there's still decorations all around and we're going to photograph all that colour, all the details, the food, the people. We're going to use it to explore depth of field and bouquet. Aperture is not just about bouquet. You can actually make use of aperture to increase or decrease the content of your story. You can use aperture to increase your viewer's concentration of the story, or you can use aperture to show more content in the story. You always have to weigh that app stop against the shutter speed and what your you yourself can actually handle. Nice, ah? Huh? You're a bit, bit nice, ah? Huh? Close up, ah? Huh? Let's look at the relationship between um, the camera and the subject, which is the garden of flowers here, and the background of the distance between the flower and her face are nearer as compared to the distance my camera and the two of them. So even at 1.4, both of them are going to be fairly sharp and the bouquet is not going to be so great. However, if she pulls this one out towards me, yes. To get it more accentuated, the bouquet, I'm going to move nearer to the flowers, as near as my lens allows. And just very, very high, very high. All right. So another way of shooting is you can always focus on the background because sometimes the background is actually more important than the foreground. So I'm going to focus on her face now. Notice that I'm so near to the flowers now, this distance. Can I go in to photograph him? Can. Can I? Go in. Because the light here is quite low and I'm already on 1,600. So I'm trying to find an angle where um, both the hairdresser and the subject are not going to be too far away from each other so that they're kind of on the same plane. So if I'm shooting something like an F2, both of them are going to be sharp. Okay. Wow, good. Eh? Got massage some more. Can take photo together? Yeah, I'm going to use it. This is the Sri Vakalyaman Temple. It's in the middle of Little India along Sarangoon Road. So of course, there are ethics to observe, you know, being respectful to people who are praying. What I was doing inside, uh, inside the temple, because the light is quite dim, I don't want to shoot on too wide an aperture because there's so many details within the temple and so many layers, I'm hoping to capture quite a lot of that detail without too much of a bouquet because all of that would just get lost. Unless the person has got an interesting expression where I would go wide to 1.4. So I think in these situations, it's actually quite tricky. There's the duty of having to be respectful to people, not intrude too much into your private space. Quickly decide, but move calmly. When you do witness worship, when you do witness prayer, it amazes me that all of us could be freely practicing our own religions. It's not just about technical aspect. You need to have a lot of EQ. Being a photographer also means that you need to have some sort of um, inner confidence and you need to be calm when you're confronted with a chaotic situation. I think it's also to be a better person in a particular scenario. Little India is always something like a miracle to me. <laughs> I, I really love coming here. <laughs> 